हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईआर डायग्राम्स ईआर मॉडल व्हिच केम इन गेट 2018 सो लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट इन एन एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप ईआर मॉडल सपोज आर इज अ मेनी टू वन रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम एंटिटी सेट ई1 टू एंटिटी सेट ई2 assume that e1 and e2 participate totally in r and that the cardinality of e1 is greater than the cardinality of e2 then which of the following is true so the question states that e1 and e2 participate in a relationship r which is a many to one relationship from e1 to e2 direction and uh, the other thing is that both of them participate totally in this relationship so then we have to answer some of the facts given in the options we have we need to check which of the following is true so let's consider the facts one by one so the first one says every entity in e1 is associated with exactly one entity in e2 sorry that's one over here Every entity in E one is associated with more than one entity in E two. Every entity in E two is associated with exactly one entity in E one. Every entity in E two is associated with at most one entity in E one. So now we need to consider this. A very simple solution that I use always for myself is I just draw a relationship set diagram for this. so as i know that there is a relationship r which is represented by e1 and e2 so i draw a diagram of this form and i've been given that e1 to e2 is many to one so if you just see the black lines they these represent a many to one relationship right many to one because 1 2 3 all are going to a so this is many to one and now if i just try to mark if i just try to map this one with b as well over here then it will become what it will become one to many so this is not possible because this is not given right so what do we have over here so with this with this restriction we know that now if one is mapped with a it cannot be mapped with any other element similarly if two is mapped with a it cannot be mapped with any other element that means every element of this is mapped to a unique element of this right so now just let's check this fact with the given options so for me it's the a part every entity in e1 is associated with exactly one entity in e2 so the answer for this question is a part so we mark the a part for this question this particular question so that's all for this question so likewise whenever you get some similar kind of question the best solution the best method is just to draw a relationship uh, a relationship entity relationship diagram in this manner and try to figure out that what is the other possibility or what is the constraint what is the restriction and in that manner you will get to know about the answer so that's all for this session i'll see you all in the next session with some more gate 2018 questions till then stay tuned and happy learning thank you